stone first. But yeah, I would like to kill him. I should have did it way back then, but... It's just a random encounter. You don't, uh... Don't know when it's gonna happen. <laughs> he overkilled you by 30 or so. He got a bunch of damage into my face, yeah. He was chucking grenades. Spear into power armor seems legit. The progression. Uh, you got a new game yesterday, The Magic Circle. May I tell you, it is a very, very good game. Uh, tell me about it. What is The Magic Circle? Dean's Electronics. You're mine now. I'll take you, Mr. Stimpak. Okay, let's save over this. We'll put, um... Military Base F1. That way I know it's Military Base Fallout 1 and not Sierra Army Depot. Now, this was a... I don't know how this place is still standing. Ooh, interesting. Because in Fallout 1, this is where we had to come to destroy the source where all the mutants were being created. This military base in Fallout 1 was the source of all the creations of the mutants. So we came here and we blew it up. How it's still here and how we're here, I don't know, but we'll check it out. It looks like a geological survey of the Bay Area. There seems to be a city just west of the military base. You log it into your pit boy. San Francisco. Simple. The label reads message to CHQ confidential MB Holodisc 5. Check that out. Let's do some investigating. What is that? Military base outside to CHQ. Uh, our team of scientists has finished testing the sample obtained from the base. It has been confirmed as 99% pure. You can expect the sample to arrive shortly. As expected, the worker population has mutated rapidly once exposed to the pure source. Uh, heavy but acceptable losses are reported. I've ordered the evacuation of the base. As soon as the last person is out, we'll blow the entrance to the base and seal the blasters in. Colonel Sanders. And I'm just going to let it be known in here. I KFC is gross. Uh, KFC is just disgusting to me. Not a fan of the KFCs. Whoa, what's going on here? Why is there so many dogs? There's a crap ton of dogs. Uh... Uh, okay, you want to go? You want to go? All right. I'm fine with, oh, they're wolves. All right, well, sorry, wolves. Hashtag the wolves. As long as we kill these pesky wolves. Look at that, Vic being hit for no damage and only hitting for two. Dang, Solik. You're just shredding these things. Shredding. Extra two AP, man. Uh, well, I can't really explain it that well. Game has a weird premise. It is basically an unfinished game, and you are a test player in it. You can hear devs arguing around you. Stuff is changing. And since it is an unfinished game, you can change stuff in it. Um, gotta reload, and then shoot. Um... We have to watch a video 
of it to get really what I'm talking about. It has a Stanley Parable feel to it, tons of humor. I never played the Stanley Parable, but that was a from what I saw of that game, it wasn't a game that interests me at all. But I'll check it out, but if it's sort of like Stanley Parable, I probably wouldn't play it. That's just not my type of game. My brother played it though, and uh, he enjoyed it. Okay, so all those dumb wolves are gone. I'll take more electronics. Don't want a cattle prod. Don't need that either. Oh, I have 119 HP total. I'm down to 87. What the freak, man? Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, time. Go ahead and use this. Give me back up to somewhat. Dang. I'm surprised that everything is just not collapsed from Fallout 1. Like, I don't understand how it's still standing. I mean, I guess it's still there because it's in the side of a mountain. You can't blow the entire mountain up, but I don't know. I don't know. Kamikaze Cow, how's it going, man? Good to see you. How was, uh, how was your weekend, sir? What is that? Metal pole. Okay, maybe we, um... It's a long metal pole. What did you expect? Weighs 10 pounds. Alright. I, I don't know what I expected, but... Maybe we'll need to use this. You see rocks. Well, I could maybe blow up the rocks, but... Finding cart looks functional. You could probably push it. The cart by itself isn't going to be enough to open the mine. Well, yeah, I'll put a bomb in there and then, of course, just chuck it that way. Chuck it. All good. Awesome. Uh, Stanley Parable is sort of uh, narration and no action. You have action in Magic Circle. It reminds me of Stanley Parable because of the humor and the occasional narration. Oh, gotcha. Uh, let's save before we try to open this. Okay. What's in here? We got rope. I don't know if I'm going to need rope. And if I do, Sulik has two, two, two ropes in his inventory, I think. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I think we're going to need to put some dynamite in this thing and uh, somehow push the cart to blow up that entrance there. I mean, it definitely looks exactly the same as in Fallout 1 here, but, I mean, I'm surprised it's still sanding is all. So, can I put something in the cart? Uh, okay, great. First, we're going to have to figure out how to push this thing. Can I put the metal pole in my inventory? Use on. Okay. All right. Um... I'm a little worried that the dynamite's going to... Destroy me. That does nothing. Um, 
Art itself isn't going to... Yeah, I know. I I imagine you put the dynamite in there, or you just plant the dynamite here. What happens if I use this on that? You attach a pole to the car. Oh, okay. Attaching dynamite to the metal pole might give it enough power to, to bust open the entrance. Yeah, man. Uh, let me go ahead and put that dynamite on there. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so now can I set the... Okay, we don't get to see you actually push it or anything like that, but that's fine. Cool, awesome. 5,000 experience. You destroyed the mine... You see a destroyed mine cart? Cool, now we can go in there. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, you were watching some of my earlier Fallout 2 videos, uh, and you were just wondering how you guys' special stats are so high. That would be because I took, at the beginning of the game, when I was creating my character and picking my stats, if you take Gifted, uh, which is a trait that you could pick at the beginning of the game, it, uh, what it does is it will increase all your stats by one. So I had strength of six when I started the game, but because I took that perk, it went up to seven. And so I got a plus one to all of my stats. It's a really good perk that you should take. Everybody should take it. I took it in Fallout 1. Works wonders. It's pretty good. The, the only issue is when you start the game, you get minus ten uh, on all of your skills here, but it seems worth it to me, so uh, but that would be the gifted uh, trait uh, that got my stats higher than normal uh, let's save it and let's go in Ooh. The walls of this cave are a combination of natural rock and mad-made uh, walls. It looks as if a large explosion of some kind destroyed the structure long ago. Yep, that was Fallout 1. Uh, it looks as if there was some kind of battle here fairly recently. The bodies look like they were beaten into a bloody pulp. Whoa. Oh, okay, it's just rat. <laughs> False alarm, it's just a rat. We're good. Boom. Bow, bow, bow. Never used that one? Yeah, it's a really, really good starting trait. Uh, get, a, get a plus one to all your stats. Like, pretty darn good. Uh, the Enclave Patrol. Okay. Oh man, alright, we're gonna... So we got Hollow Disk 5 outside. That means there's gotta be at least four more in here. And now there's gonna be three because we got this one. I'll take that, I'll take radio. I'll take all that. Loot them. Loot them bodies, Mike. Loot them all. Oh, you don't have to tell me, I'll do it. Uh, okay. Radio transmission log, checkpoint one. Okay. So by reading these hollow discs, we'll kind of figure out what was going on here. Uh, okay. So let's do some sort of investigating here. Uh, military base level one. This is Captain Picard. <laughs> uh, reporting on checkpoint one. Contact with checkpoints two and three has been cut off. We can only assume the worst. The monsters are swarming up the mine shafts. All efforts to delay them have failed. We'll try to hold them at this position as long as we can. Now, by monsters, I hope you don't mean rats, because the first thing that we encountered when we came in here was a rat. So, if you couldn't handle rats, then... I don't know. Uh, this guy looks like he's in half here. Ooh, that guy got cut in half. I'll take the radio.
Man, it's so cool to come back to a location from Fallout 1. Especially a location that played a big role in Fallout 1. Um, I like coming back to them many years later, it's kind of creepy. Because all the memories that I had when I was here, they're all coming back. They're all coming back. I remember these these god-awful force fields here. This is the area, the place that, um, like, up to, the, to that point of the game, it was kind of towards the end of the game, uh, I had my companions, but once I got here, I just let them all die because... There was, there was no way that you could tell them to just stand still and wait. And so they would be stupid and they would run through force fields a whole bunch of times and just ultimately died. So. That's a bad memory of this place. Hundred and sixty experience. You know what I like about your gameplay, Mike? You are the same as me, no stone left unturned. I wasn't always this way, but I think within the past probably like three years maybe, I was just like, I need, like anytime I play a game, I'm like, I want to make sure I loot everything, I read everything, um, if there's side quests that we can do, I would like to do them all. Like, I want to make sure I see as much as I can in a game. You think you might be able to repair it? Okay, cool. Do, 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 do. Because if you, if, sometimes if you don't play that way, there are some cool things that you miss out on. And I don't want to miss out on that stuff. Especially now that I'm streaming stuff. I don't want to miss out on some fun stuff. Where's... I want to loot your body. Dang it. Okay. Um... Let me save and then let's try to repair this. Because it can be repaired. Ooh, lights. Not like a door opened. But regardless, let there be light. Might have been that, actually, that elevator. Elevator! Uh oh. You look like you're friendly. Here, mousy mousy. Uh, there's a pig rat and a regular rat. Kind Grundle won't hurt you. Okay. Do, do, do. You're off to watch an earlier video. You're up to Vault City so far. Good luck, man. Well, thank you, man. Enjoy the uh, the Fallout 2 content. And uh, thank you for stopping by, man. Let there be light. Kendra, how are you doing this morning? Have you recovered from the wedding yet? Do, do, do. do. Military base, Fallout 1. Save it. Now that we have light, we'll be able to see inside this uh, military base a lot easier. <laughs> Why is he trying to catch those rats? Is he hungry or something? Might be. Squeak, squeak, squeak. God dang. Um. Steady rocks for a while, but they never move. Oh, Fallout. I want to make sure I check everything. God damn. So that elevator... Definitely goes... I know this place has, like, three floors, if I'm not mistaken. There might have been a, a fourth floor, but 
in Fallout 1, I could never go down into it. Uh, it just wouldn't let me. Let me save. I'm sure this guy's a friendly. Okay, me lied. I'm going to eat you. Um, I hope you eat the rats and not me. Do, do, do. Doing good. Awesome. You went to the buffet yesterday and felt magically af afterwards. Magical afterwards. Just haven't been in the mood too much. Gotcha. Sometimes taking some time off is uh, it's it's nice to do every once in a while. But then after a while, it's like, well, I have the urge to stream, and I will stream. Um. I don't want to hit this guy. Can I talk to you? Whoa! You're just gonna hit me? Um. Hmm. Okay, pal. If that's the way you want to go, I was trying to be nice. You're just gonna straight up hit me. Oh god. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's let's equip our um stuff here. I want to try our um see what our plasma rifle does. If he doesn't die, I think he will. Going to make some lunch. Awesome. That guy critically hit for 322 hit points. Ah, oh, imagine if we could have did that to stupid Kaga. Would have been sweet. Uh, I am going to move up here. Take a shot at you. That is a, a burnt pig rat. He doesn't just... He doesn't want just to hit you. He also wants to eat you. Yeah. But unfortunately for him, spiked knuckles aren't going to kill me that easily. Wait, are we done with combat? Yeah, we are. Man, I... I thought all mutants were friendlies, man. What's going on? I mean, to be honest, now that... It's been quite some time, and the master of the mutants is dead. Uh, like when we went to Broken Hills, you know, Marcus and all the mutants there were pretty, uh, pretty nice. But I guess some still have yet to change. Um, I don't see anything along the walls, like lockers or anything like that. Cheru. I just realized I was like, how are you doing this morning? Almost 1 p.m. <laughs> really? You mean to tell me an hour and a half of the stream has gone by already? Uh, okay, so there's nothing else on this level. Restored power, we killed a hungry mutant. Uh, we've got some pig rats in there. And I remember this computer. Freaking. There was like some weird commands on this computer in Fallout 1. And now you're dead, so haha, -ha, take that, stupid computer. What you get for confusing me back then? Uh, let's get these pig rats over here. Roasted pig rat coming up. Dang, actually, the energy weapons, pretty, pretty good accuracy so far. Dang, look at that, we're almost level 19. Dude. Maybe, maybe we will get another perk before we finish this game, I don't know. Poisoned? 
What the Zax in hell do you think you're doing? And... Alright, now who has the antidotes? Because I don't. I, I hope I didn't put them in the car. Okay, there they are. Yeah, give me that. I will take thy antidote. Well, by the way he talked, I would guess he wasn't the sharpest tool in the mutant shed. Yep, he's like, me lied, I will eat you. Yeah. <laughs> Weasel rifle. I'm gonna take out my Weasel rifle and uh, burn some mutants. Uh, the only problem with checking, like, move out of the way there. Move out of the way, man. Don't. There you go. I guess I can't get there. Uh, the only bad thing about having all these weapons out is anytime I want to check something, he's got to put the weapon away, do the animation, and then look at the stuff. All right, we're good. Let's, uh, level one is done. Let's go to level two. Uh, yeah. Level two. I think... I can't remember if it's level two or level three. I think level three had the, uh... The barracks or something there. Whoa, there's still mutants inside here? <gasps> Don't tell me I have to fight through all of these. Are you kidding me? I mean, they weren't that difficult. If you don't have, like, laser beams, then I can easily kill you. Um. Oh my god. He's got a plasma rifle. Uh, okay. Oh. Yep, you got that stuff. Oh, well, be definitely better save it. Please, somebody have power armor or something that I can take. Plasma pistol. Why are there so many goddamn radios? Dang, man. They all weigh six pounds, too. That's a lot. Solid, come here. What you be I'm gonna give you some of this stuff because I'm tired of carrying it. Get all that. I don't know what we need that for. Might as well carry those too, bro. There you go. You're not uh over the weight limit, are you? No, you're good. You're not over the weight limit. Oh, that's where robots used to sit in those things right there. What do you got in here? I'll take that. I'm not taking that other stuff. Now, it would be nice if you guys would just uh, not shoot me immediately. I would like to speak with you. Vic, bro, can you like move out of the way more? More. More. As soon as I open this door, it's gonna be battle. Stop taking out your freaking weapons. You're supposed to just be stupid, not have any of that. Uh, really, we can't do anything like that. Okay, well, just shoot him regularly. In hopes that he dies. I only hit him for 20 points of damage. I really hope you don't kill my party members or me.
Uh oh. Whoa! My guy's a burning man. And he just killed me. Your life ends in the wasteland. He hit me for exactly how much hit points I had remaining.